trick out your knife sheaths. There's a few basic items that I use to trick out my knife sheaths. One of them is electrical tape, which is unnecessary, but I use it sometimes to cover sharp edges on objects that I want against my sheath or under my ranger bands or against my power cord. Unnecessary, but that's an idea. I'll show you how it's done. Anyway, the main items are ranger bands and 550 power cord. And that's what I use to make improvised carries for my knives and to trick out my knife sheaths a little bit so I can carry accessories on them. Now, if you don't have ranger bands, you can make them simply by buying an, a tire inner tube. You can pick them up at your local Walmart or your sporting goods store that has bicycles. And uh, you just cut them to the width you want. Now, they do sell different widths of tire tubes, but you can measure whatever width you want in that direction and cut them to size. And like I said, they make them different widths, and you're going to need different widths for different size sheets. Now let me give you an example of a knife sheet that I tricked out. Now this is a homemade knife that I have in here, but the knife sheath is for a Buck 119. It's a leather sheath, and I didn't like the way this mounts on my hip because whether it's the Buck 119 or my homemade knife, the handle rides up high and it tends to bind against my waist and rib cage as I as I walk and if I bend down or lean in the direction this is sticking in me so I don't like that carry what I do like is my improvised chest carry that I've shown in other videos and how I did that was I used 550 power cord and I made my own attachment and this is very sturdy what I did is I tied it onto the loop and then doubled it up and brought it around, wrapped it around the tip and brought it back down and tied it off. And it's very secure. It's not coming undone. You see I have ranger bands on here also, but they're not to hold the cord on. They're to hold my mag block with striker. And I also have ranger bands to hold on my wet fire. That's one of the ways I trick out my knives so that not only can I carry them differently, on a chest mount, etc. But also so I can carry mag blocks or I can carry a fire steel and I can carry other things like wet fire or whatever will fit comfortably under ranger bands and on my sheath. I'll show you a couple other examples. Here's an example of adding an accessory pouch to a knife sheath. This is the Benchmade CSK2 and I added a folding knife knife sheath to this as I added about 10 foot of power cord to the sheath. So that gives me the ability to carry 10 foot of power cord on my sheath as well as an accessory pouch that is very secure. This is going nowhere. And you see ranger bands on it, but the ranger bands aren't holding the knife sheath. It's the power cord that is actually holding the knife sheath as well as reinforcing this attachment. So you can see the power cord's wrapped on there good. Good 10 foot of power cord and I've got a Swedish fire steel in there and wet fire. So again, trick out your knife sheath, adds an accessory pouch, I can carry my knife like this on my chest, and right there I have my Swedish fire steel, or I can put a compass in there, or some other gadget that I want. This is my cold steel SRK, and you can see, as I've shown in videos recently, it has the chest mount attachment to it, and this is a self-design. I'm simply using a belt with D-rings, where you can find other belts. A web belt, and it's held on in place by a power cord chest mount that I designed. I simply by using power cord, starting with the top hoops, and weaving the power cord through in a cross pattern, I doubled it up and came up with this attachment. Ranger bands are not needed to do this. I simply wove the power cord through, brought it down to the bottom, and tied it. Now, the ranger bands are there, again, to hold wet fire and other accessories like my mag black and striker. But also, with this knife sheath, I had a problem when the button clasp is off, this knife would literally fall out if I was carrying it upside down. Now, I heard some suggestions that didn't work out for me so I tried one of my own and that is I added three ranger bands to the top of the sheath and it does work there is a little caveat with it uh, the caveat is when you pull it out and go to put it back in 
you literally have to take a finger and pull the ranger bands back but it's not a big deal it really holds well that knife will not come out in the upside down position and if you want it out it comes out very nicely nice smooth action another thing you might consider D-rings when you're in motion can come undone so what I simply did is took a little power cord made a little tie and I added ranger band to hold it fast as well as the end here it's not going to come loose no matter how much action I have in the bush that's not coming undone so there's some ideas to trick out your knife sheath so you can carry accessories you can carry your knives in a different position and you can feel more secure with your carry so any ideas suggestions input greatly appreciate it uh, I have other knives that I've tricked out in similar fashion but I plan to do uh, full reviews on them in the future after I have used them for an extended amount of time uh, I will do reviews on some of my other knives that I've been carrying for quite a while but uh, I hope this helps someone